I think he is simply the greatest entertainer that ever lived. The O'Reilly Factor is on tonight. As much as we may feel, we need Michael here with us. God must have needed him far more. You believed in Michael and he believed in you. He was caring and funny, honest, pure. The glorification of Michael Jackson continues. But Michael was also a true humanitarian. An American legend and musical icon. Is there something wrong about how the whole Jackson situation is being handled? We will have no spin analysis. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. The real deal about Michael Jackson, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. There's an old saying, you can't choose your family, and it's true. The family of Michael Jackson honored his memory today in Los Angeles, and I do not, do not wish to intrude on that. They are entitled to grieve any way they want. But Michael Jackson's place in America is a legitimate topic of discussion, and Talking Points is just about fed up with all the adulation. It is basically grandstanding and pathetic in the extreme. Yes, the man was an all-star entertainer, but that's it. So enough with the phony platitudes, okay? The truth is that Jackson's interaction with children were unacceptable for any adult. His incredible selfishness, spending hundreds of millions of dollars on himself while singing We Are the World, should make any clear-thinking America, American nauseous. And why are Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton making this a racial deal? Jackson bleached his own skin and then chose white men to provide existence for his in vitro children. I mean, give me a break with all this. To hear Sharpton speak today, you think Mr. Jackson was Martin Luther King Jr. Those young kids grew up from being teenage, comfortable fans of Michael to being 40 years old and being comfortable to vote for a person of color to be the president of the United States of America. Michael did that. Michael made us love each other. Michael taught us to stand with each other. And if you disagree with honoring Jackson the man, watch out. Congressman Peter King called Jackson a pedophile, an assessment not uncommon, and was immediately branded a racist. NAACP official Hazel Dukes and Congressman Bobby Rush both said vile things about Mr. King. The message is very clear. If you criticize Michael Jackson, you hate black people. Nonsense. Un-American and unacceptable. If you like Jackson, fine. No problem. That's your right. If you do not respect him, that is fine as well. Dukes and Rush are playing the race card, pure and simple. They should be ashamed. The crowd outside the service today was much smaller than predicted. The service itself was very well done. But the media coverage was a bit bizarre. I mean, there's something surreal about watching Katie Couric analyze things with Kenny Babyface Edmonds. And Charles Gibson didn't exactly look relaxed doing play-by-play. -play. The whole deal illustrates just how crazy the USA is becoming. A cowardly media will exploit any event for ratings. Remember, the same people extolling Jackson today were the ones giving his child molestation trial gavel-to-gavel -gavel attention. And after Michael Jackson was found not guilty, the American media did not exactly elevate him to hero status, did it? But now that he's dead, most likely from an accidental drug overdose, he is a hero. How does that work? How does that happen? Just another day in media world. And that's the memo. Now for the top 